Hello, I'm Yishang from HarveyMandarin.com. Welcome to the first lesson in my Reading and Writing Chinese Characters lesson series. This lesson series is designed to help you more easily understand and learn to read and write Chinese characters. In this lesson, we'll learn these characters. I'll give you tips to help you remember each character and show you how to write them as well as give you some example words for each character. OK, let's get started. Our first character is 人, which means person. 人, 人. This character comes from a drawing of a person viewed from the side. Imagining this character as a person taking a walk should make it easy to remember. Now, let's take a look at how to properly write the character 人. 人 is written using two strokes. First is a downward stroke to the left, and the second is a shorter downward stroke to the right. I've placed a link to a practice sheet that you can download and use to practice writing the characters in this lesson. You can find the link in the description for this video. Now, let's take a look at some example words that use the character 人. First is 好人. The character 好 means good, so 好人 means good person. This is used to describe a person who has integrity and does good things for other people. 好人, 好人, good person. The opposite of 好人 is 坏人, which means bad person. 坏人, 坏人, bad person. And finally, we have 家人, 家, means home. So, 家人 means the people in your home. In other words, your family. 家人, 家人, family. Our next character is 大, which means big. 大, 大. For this character, you can imagine a person standing with their legs and arms spread wide, trying to look as big as possible. 大 is written using three strokes. First comes the horizontal line. Then, just like with 人, we have a big downward stroke to the left and a shorter downward stroke to the right. Here are some example words that use the character 大. First is 大人. 大 means big, and 人 means person. 大人, a big person, in other words, an adult. 大人, 大人, adult. Next is 大哥. 哥 is the character for older brother. And 大哥 means big brother. 大哥 is used to refer to your oldest brother. It can also be used to address a man who is somewhat older than you. 大哥, 大哥 big brother. Our last word is 大姐. 姐 is the character for older sister. And 大姐 means big sister. Similar to 大哥, 大姐 is used to refer to your oldest sister or to address a woman who is somewhat older than you. 大姐, 大姐, big sister. Our next character is 天, which means sky, heaven, or day. 天, 天, some people say that this character originated with the top line representing the number one on top of the character for big. So this character refers to the number one big thing. In other words, the heavens or the sky. You can also imagine this character representing a giant who is so tall that his head reaches the sky. 
To picture that, here you can see the character for big, which represents the giant. The giant is so big that his head reaches all the way up to the clouds. Tian is written using four strokes. First, we write the two horizontal lines starting with the top line. Then, the big downward stroke to the left. And finally, the shorter downward stroke to the right. Here are some words that use the character Tian. Tian qi. You may have heard the word qi in English or maybe in some Kung Fu movies. It means a person's life force or energy and it is a big part of traditional Chinese medicine and philosophy. The word comes from this Chinese character, qi. So that might make it easy to understand why tian qi or sky energy means the weather. Tian qi. Tian qi, weather. Jin tian. The character jin means this. In this word, tian takes on the meaning day. So jin tian means this day. In other words, today. Jin tian. Jin tian, today. Mei tian. Mei means every. So, mei tian means every day. Mei tian. Mei tian, every day. And our final character for this lesson is fu, which means adult male or husband. Fu. Fu. This character is made from a slightly taller version of the character for big with a horizontal line added to it. This line represents the hairpin men used to wear when they became adults. Fu is written using four strokes, just like with Tian. The only difference is that when writing Tian, the downward stroke to the left starts at the top horizontal line, whereas with Fu, the downward stroke to the left starts above the top horizontal line. First, we write the two horizontal lines starting with the top line. Then, the big downward stroke to the left. And finally, the shorter downward stroke to the right. Here are some example words that use the character Fu. Zhang Fu means husband. The character Zhang comes from a traditional Chinese measurement, which is equal to about 3 meters or 10 feet. This refers to women in ancient times wanting to choose a tall man who could protect them to be their husband. Note that in Zhang Fu, Fu is pronounced with the neutral tone. Zhang Fu, Zhang Fu, husband. Fu qi, fu means husband, and qi means wife. So fu qi together means husband and wife, or a married couple. Fu qi, fu qi, husband and wife. Qian fu, qian means before. So qian fu means the husband you had before. In other words, your ex-husband. Qian fu, qian fu, ex-husband. In addition to covering these first characters, I also wanted to talk about how to use the practice sheets to improve your Chinese writing. You can find the link to the practice sheet for this lesson in the video description. Unlike in English, Chinese characters each take up the same amount of writing space. If you look at a printed book in English, a letter like an I will take up much less space than a wider letter like an M. Also, each line in the book will have a slightly different length. Or extra space will be added between words to make the lines even. In Chinese, however, each character, when written properly, takes up the same amount of writing space. And when you look at a printed Chinese book, 
the characters will generally look like they are in a neat grid, with each line taking up the same length. Similarly, when practicing writing Chinese characters, they should be written so that each character fits into the same amount of space, and you want to have the correct proportions for each part of the character. The practice sheets for my character lessons have each character arranged in a grid. There are lines that run through the grid to help you write using the correct proportions. Also, for each character, in red you can see a list of the order for writing the strokes. I'll demonstrate by writing the character Tian. The first pen stroke is the top horizontal line. Next is the second horizontal line. Then the downward stroke to the left. And finally, the downward stroke to the right. There are a few copies of Tian that you can trace over when writing the character, followed by more spaces where you can write the character completely on your own. Before ending this lesson, I would like to take some time to thank Mark from Luxembourg, Tammy, Bill, and Joe from the United States, and Snezana from Austria for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you so much! If you would like to make a contribution to my channel, please follow the link at the end of this video. Ok, that's all for this lesson. I hope you found my tips for remembering the characters from this lesson useful. Did you enjoy this lesson? Or do you have other ideas on how to make it easier to remember these characters? If so, please take some time to leave a comment. If you are interested in private Chinese lessons, please visit my website harbinmandarin.com and send me a message. I'll see you guys next time. 再见!